Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Uh, this is Andrea and uh, today we're going to talk about this sunscreen. This sunscreen is from Heliocare 360. Uh, it's called Age Active Fluid. It's a SPF 50 uh, PA4+. Uh, so it's the maximum that you can get as far as PA rating goes, as the SPF, it can go up to 100 actually. Um, this is a um, European sunscreen. Uh, it's actually made in Spain and um, it's got a 50 fluid ounces. Um, it is a mix between chemical and physical. So it's got um, titanium dioxide and also zinc oxide and then a bunch of other um, uh, filters that I'm actually going to put on the screen because it's kind of easier. Um, so it also has a nine month expiration date upon opening, opening, <laughs> upon opening. So as soon as you open it up, um, nine months, write, write it on your, write a date on your uh, container. It is a very liquidy sunscreen. It is a uh, really, really runny. I'm going to show you up right now and make sure I'm clean. I had swatched some blush earlier. So anyways, ready? <gasps> oh, there we go. This is how um, liquid it is. And I'm going to um, put the lid on before it spills on me. Um, this is how it actually is, right? So it comes in, it almost looks like I was going to say peachy, um, got to miss the described it as peachy, but to me it's more like a tan. Um, but it, it really does not stay. It does not stay this color. It just, um, blends into your skin. You can tell that. Let me see. It blends into your skin and it actually, uh, gets soaked up. There's no color correction. There's no white cast. There's nothing. It's just the sunscreen. Um, you can tell it's a bit, um, uh, luminous, luminant, luminescent, luminescent, luminescent. It's quite nice, actually. Um, this is the difference between um, with, without. So um, you can tell there is some luminosity to it. It's almost like a glow, not a disturbing glow, though. It's it's a nice glow. You can tell, right? Yeah. Um, and on the skin, it actually looks um, really pretty. It looks uh, like it's diffuse, uh, like it's diffusing um, everything. It just goes in so smooth. It's really soft. Um, it's really um, non-sticky and non-greasy uh, as well. Uh, I was gonna wipe it on the other side, but there's nothing to wipe because it's already soaked in. Um, that's how quick actually it gets in, which is nice because then you don't have to sit there and wait for too long to put your ma your makeup on. Now it does recommend to wait 30 minutes uh, from the time you put it on until you actually go outside in the sun, but um, sometimes that's, that does not happen. But anyways, it's really dried up by now and it's been what, not even two minutes since we talked. Uh, so it's really soft, it's really um, non-greasy, non-sticky, uh, non... Can you see that? Um, not nothing. It really, it really dries in as your skin. Um, also, um, it has dimethicone in there, so that kind of will give you an idea because dimethicone is a silicone. So silicones actually help the product spread in, and it actually, um, it also helps with uh, the moisturization, moisturization. <laughs> <laughs> moisturization of the skin goodness um, as far as ingredients um, highlights I wrote something now um, it's got they have a uh, blend of theirs it's called fern block which says it uh, derives from a botanical extract that developed a natural mechanism to protect itself from solar radiation and in essence provides anti-aging antioxidant and protective properties now that's in there as um, sunscreen um, filter uh, but it also has um, soft focus technology, which is actually, you can tell because of how it looks after it uh, dries out, it looks like it's softening your wrinkles, your pimples, your, it just gives it a nice glow and kind of um, makes you forget about all the other stuff, you know? <laughs> um, it also has um, vitamin C derivatives. Um, it has salicylates. 
Sorry. Um, it's got citric acid, it's got ascorbic acid, which those are vitamin C derivatives. Um, and I'm not saying anything else that I wrote down. Now, um, it also has perfume, which here would be fragrance, and also linalol, or lul, lol, lul, uh, and limonel, limonin, which those are actually perfumes in, um, and you can find them in all kinds of products, but some people are uh, allergic or intolerant to them. So if you're one of those people, it, it is in there. Like I said, there is um, um, dimethicone, lots of them, actually lots of derivatives from it, of it, lots of derivatives of it. So if you don't like that, well, it's there. Now, I don't mind it in my sunscreen. Um, I try to stay away from it if in my skincare because I don't want that. But as far as sunscreen, I already have my um, skincare there and I do put a lot. So um, that really does not do me anything. So um, if you do uh, not like it, if you do not like it in there, then um, just stay away from this product. But as far as um, uh, performance, it performs really nice. It's, I, it's what I have underneath, of course. <laughs> since we're reviewing it um it looks really nice um you can tell there is a glow to the face um i do have i have powder foundation on this side and i have liquid foundation on this side well it's the kosas concealer but as um foundation so it it looks nice um uh, i can tell that i have um i have dry patches which they show both sides kind of like on my temples um and my nose, um, it shows more on the liquid part than not, than the uh, powder. The powder looks much nicer than the um, liquid part. But other than that, uh, it really didn't disturb the, uh, the makeup, or I should say the makeup did not disturb the um, um, sunscreen. Um, it did not peel, it did not ball, it did not do anything of such thing. It's just, it went in really smooth. Um, if you are a minimalist and you don't like to wear foundation on top of it or anything of the sorts, um, this will be really, really nice. It just blurs up your features, your <laughs> blurs off your skin and it makes it look really nice. Um, We'll see how it actually holds up um, in like three hours. We'll do a checkup and see how it actually looks. But other than that, it really is, it really is nice. It's comfortable on the skin. It's not uh, drying. It's not oily. It's not nothing. It's just satin skin with a glow to it, like iridescence. I should say not glow, kind of like iridescence, iridescence. And um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I hope that uh, there is no irritation from it. Um, it is dermatologist tested and also ophthalmologist tested. So uh, they say that you can use it around your eyes. I use all of my sunscreens around my eyes. I don't really have any, I have not had in a long time problems with um, sunscreens actually making my eyes uh, tear up or irritating. I've never had irritation, irritation of the source, but just kind of like making my eyes irritated if it got too close because it migrates. So um, I have nothing of the sorts with this one so far. I will see as the day goes by, but usually it's at the beginning that I get it because it moves and it just gets in every everywhere. But um, it really holds up good so far. And uh, it's, um, it looks nice. So I forgot to say, uh, where is it, right here. Um, it is water and sweat uh, resistant. So that will be nice for the summertime uh, because as we know, as it gets hot outside, we're definitely um, sweating. But since it is resistant to it, um, you might have a better chance of holding on to it. <laughs> so that's a plus. Um, as far as everything else goes, so far it's good. Um, I'll let you know in about three hours how it actually is um, performing. So I'll see you there. But first, stay for the demo, of course. Let's just go ahead and put this bad boy on and see how it actually does. Um, it comes in a, like a little spout. Uh, there was no sealant on it, so I'll just, it's very liquidy. So I'm just gonna try to put it on my hand. Yeah, let's see. You see that? How it runs down? Yeah, it's very liquidy. But uh, the color of it's like almost like nude. 
like a I'm not gonna say beige because beige makes me think oh that was very liquidy that went between my fingers <gasps> okay I guess we're not gonna be able to put it on the fingers like that so we'll just directly put it on the skin it feels very soft very liquidy as you could tell um, it's very <laughs> luxurious feeling it's like Kind of like, uh, I was going to say putting like an oil, but no, because oil feels feels greasy. This does not feel greasy. It's just soft and velvety. That's the one. Velvety feels really, really nice on the skin. Okay. <laughs> I still have some between my fingers. There we go. Um, there is, so far, there's no, um, no color correction or anything like that. It's just pretty much... Um, whatever my skin looks like, almost, almost like with a little bit of a lighter, but it's nothing really, um, that would correct anything or leave a white cast at all. Let's go on the eyes, because it's supposed to be very nice for the eyes, so non-irritant. I mean, regardless, I always put it around the eyes. Um, so... Wow, that feels very soft. I'm pretty sure that's because of the silicones. The silicones um, have the property of making everything really, really soft and really, really spread nicely and getting the skin in the crevices nicely. Okay, um, so just from these little um, time that I was blending it on, it already started to set. Like I said, it feels very, very soft. Um, yeah, so um, as far as looks go, let me get my mirror here, let's put it behind, use every little bit, don't let it go to waste, and the garbage truck is here, so yeah, all right, uh, let's see, so far, I see a little something here, no, that's just my skin peeling but not uh, an actual peel. So there's just a little dry skin there, but okay, voila, no more skin. <laughs> okay, uh, no peeling whatsoever. I like that. Uh, no, um, no nothing. Uh, let's see, oh, maybe a little bit here. I can see a little something here. It could be just that my skin is uh, dry a little bit and you can see that, but no, it's not rubbing. It's not peeling, it's not balling. Okay, that's good. No settling so far. Uh, it just went in really smooth. Can you see that? Like really smooth, really nice. There is um luminosity to it, almost like um like a blurring effect. Probably because of the luminosity. But there's no color correction. There's no color on it. It does not leave any kind of color on. Um, let's see. Uh, feels really nice. It does not feel dry. Does not feel oily. I'm gonna leave it uh, on for like 10 minutes to see how it actually does after it sets. And then I'll be back and we'll talk more about it. It's been 10 minutes and I'm back so that we can actually see how um, the sunscreen uh, set and how it actually looks. So, um, no peeling, still, wait. No, no peeling, still. Um, it really feels uh, nice. It does not feel sticky, it does not feel matte, it does not feel dry, it does not look matte whatsoever. It, feel, it looks um, radiant. Um, not oily, just radiant. Looks really um, healthy, like healthy skin. Now let's do the skin, the uh, hair stickiness. Um, okay, it's hold on. I should have put nothing on my lips. It's stuck in my lips, but not on um, not on my <laughs> and my lashes as per usual. Let's see. Okay. So no stickiness whatsoever, uh, just um, just pretty, really. Um, I like the way it looks. I definitely love the way it feels. Let's see. Um, yeah, 
really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do what I always do. I will do, where is it? Oh, okay, uh, the powder foundation on this side and I will do the Kosas as um, liquid foundation on this side to see how it actually looks with powder and with um, liquid, just in case you're interested in either or, and also for me too. So I know which one looks better with. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then uh, I'll see you when uh, that is done so that we can actually push it and see um, how it actually looks. Now, if you are uh, low maintenance, you don't like anything um, on, so no foundation, no, no nothing, you can wear this as is because there's no difference. It's just the skin, um, whatever your tone is, whatever, um, that's just how it's gonna stay. So you can just wear it like this. It does uh, do a very nice blurring effect to the skin because of the um, radiance that it has. Uh, but other than that, um, yeah, it's just pretty much your skin. So, yeah, I uh, I really like it. I, um, we'll see how, how it goes during the day. But other than that, it's just really nice. I'll see you with the makeup on so we can actually see what's going on. So this is just how it looks with only the uh, foundation uh, powder and then the um, liquid plus set with the powder uh, with the Honest Beauty. Um, I have to set. I definitely have to set. There's no way I can go around it. Uh, one, it gives me um, the uh, the matteness that I like because I don't like it to be too glowy. I like a radiance. I just don't like to glow it because I have oily T-zone. It also um, holds on to whatever I put on, whether it's just um, sunscreen or foundation or whatever. Um, it holds on to it better um, for longer wear. So um, this is how it actually looks that um let's see so the powder i like the powder better uh the liquid seem like um like it's showing the uh the dry spots dry patches um kind of all around here it already said but has nothing to do with the sunscreen of course um but there's no peeling with either one of them. So if you um, feel like liquid, if you like powder, um, it'll do good with both. Um, as far as the um, sunscreen goes, it looks good. It looks good with both. Yeah. Uh, there's no peeling, which is what I'm actually more concerned about when I do the uh, liquid. I'm more concerned about the movement in the uh, face that would make the um, sunscreen ball up and um, peel so there's nothing like it so it's thumbs up for that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do everything else and then uh, coming back to actually so show you all of it together this is how it looks with uh, all the makeup on and all the movement and such that I did that was just a, to me trying to give you a last look on how everything looks and um, how it actually is behaving with everything else. Hey guys, it's been four hours since I have put this sunscreen and the makeup on. Um, I lost track of time. So here we are, four hours, uh, trying to weigh in and see how it actually looks. Um, so judging from the shininess that I have on, especially around my nose, well, the T-zone pretty much, is what I always have problems with because I have um, oily T-zone. So the oily T-zone definitely shows where, um, as far as the sides go, not much. I really like how it were on here. So if you have dry skin, this is perfect. You know, there's no dryness, but also um, it doesn't look matte. So it's like <laughs> best of both worlds. Uh, now, in the T-zone, it's, like I said, it's quite oily. You can tell um, how shiny it is. It it had a glow, not a glow, but um, it was distance to start with, um, but it's definitely um, gone into the other side, which is oily. I'm gonna use these um, blotting papers just to um, blot. So I will um, blot and I'll actually show you Yay! <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, my nose is the one that usually gets very, um, very oily. Yeah, 
red. Yummy. I'm going to use another one. No way. It soaks up all of the excess oils. Um, you could use a piece of um, like paper, uh, not toilet paper. I don't recommend that because that's going to leave all kinds of fuzzes on your face. So don't use that. Uh, but like a napkin, no, nap well, napkin, I guess too. Napkin would be good. If you don't have blotting papers or if you're like in the restroom, um, there's those papers that you um, dry your hands with. You can use that too. Uh, doesn't seem to take too much my, my makeup off, so okay. Now with with this being done, um, we'll see how much um, coverage we have left. Uh, it usually does not take, but because it kind of um, wore off around my nose, I am left with very little coverage. Um, as far as the um, uh, peeliness goes. This is my dry skin. Uh, there's no peeliness, but there's just my skin that's peeling on its own. Um, so no, that's there, which the sunscreen or makeup has nothing to do with, but it's there. Um, now what I would do is I would go ahead and put, um, a sunscreen powder on because it's like, four o'clock so there's still time to wear these and I'm gonna be outside so I'm gonna uh, use this uh, Dr. Surical SPF 50 PA++ so I'll put this one on I will use this highlighting brush from um, elf because it's nice and fluffy and it's really um, oh that's a lot in there I mean it comes with a puff but I think that's gonna deposit way too much and I don't want that so I'm gonna start oof, in here. Yeah, start with the nose. It kicks off a bunch of uh, dust. If you can see that, can you tell all that dust? So I'll just try to pick that dust off instead of swirling in. Like I said, I try to um, start with the metal because that's the one that needs it the most. And then uh, I definitely want to go around too, just to reapply the sunscreen. And definitely don't forget your eyes because we know that that's where you actually see your age the most is your eyes. The skin is so delicate as is and yeah. Okay. Now that is what I call a refreshment. <laughs> I like it um, matte, so um, that's for me. That's for me. With that being said, um, that's not bad. I mean, it wore nice. It uh, it wore as much as it had. You know, it's they tell you to wear to um, to reapply every two hours. I don't reapply every two hours, but every three I will, unless um, I don't need it. So if I'm gonna be around the house and I'm not gonna go out, there's no way from, there's no need for me to reapply. But if I am gonna go out, whether it is three hours, four hours, five hours, whatever, um, I will reapply. And if I do have sunscreen, if I do have uh, makeup on, I will opt for a sunscreen like these. Um, if not, then I'll just go ahead and do whatever I had before because uh, why not? So now that that's in place, there's my skin peeling again, of course. Okay, now that that's in place, um, now we're good. Now, if I were to want to put some blush on, I would go ahead and do. If not, we would leave it just like this. I mean, there's still some there. Um, let's just do it. Just for the heck of it. I'll we'll put on whatever we I put on earlier. So I'll do this one. I'll just, it's easy and fast and if you're on the go and you just want to refresh like well, while you're out and about or whatever then this would really help that way you don't need to take blushes with you and such I mean brushes <laughs> brushes with you okay and that would be it uh, just a little color there just to replenish and that'd be it so this is um, this is a sunscreen uh, I think it did really good um, considering, but, um, summertime when it's going to be hot outside, 
I don't see this one lasting on my face. Uh, even though it says it's water and uh, sweat resistant, I really don't see it lasting um, a lot on the face with it being so oily um, at the four hour mark. But, you know, if you have dry skin, if you um, don't have problems with oiliness, then you would really like this one. It feels really nice on the skin. It feels luxurious. Um, it is uh, very blurring and so, yeah, that's about it about the sunscreen. Um, I hope you got something out of it. I hope that it helped you actually see how it acts. And uh, if you do have it or if you are getting it, let me know down below. I'm curious to see if um, if it works for you and what kind of skin type you have. Um, that way we all learn. This is for my oily uh, T-zone with dry um, sides, I guess, perimeter of my face. But other than that, um, I hope to see you next time. Up until then, you take care. Bye.